hello everyone welcome to today's live q a i'm super excited to have you here today we are going to talk about outprint the possibilities and also help you as far as understanding what the possibilities are and most importantly how to set it up i'm super excited because i know a lot of you guys have asked me specifically about outprint inside the facebook group or even through my social media and unfortunately, I haven't been able to answer all of your questions. So I wanted to really take this opportunity to answer all your questions so you guys can get set up because we know that before we know it, it's going to be Christmas season. And obviously, there's still plenty of opportunities during the summer. And this is actually the best time for you to set yourself for winning and having your best Christmas ever, which really is the goal here, right? So if we can go to the next slide. So before we begin, I wanted to make a couple of announcements and talk about that. If you stay until the end, I'm going to give you the opportunity to win a scholarship inside my coaching program, because I know a lot of you haven't had the opportunity to be inside. There's some of my students who are actually inside the coaching. So stay till the end and I'll explain how you can apply to win a scholarship. Okay, so the agenda for today is essentially we're going to talk about uh, what does Alprint do. We're going to talk about some of the products as well. We're going to talk about branding options. And then we're going to also set, uh, talk about setting up Alprint how to customize a message card. And then we're gonna do as well, a little surprise, not just for my students, but also we're gonna talk about the sponsorship and how to get the access to the scholarship. Yep. Next All slide. Right. Uh, can I take over, Lona? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. All right, <laughs> perfect. Um, again, thanks everybody for being here. We appreciate you for showing up. Uh, I wanted to start off by saying that uh, Luna students are some of our top sellers, some of our own prints top sellers. And uh, with this said, you guys are um, on really good hands and we appreciate your business. Um, just by you being here in this call, you're one step ahead of everybody. So keep showing up, keep being consistent. You're in good hands. Luna is a leader in the POD industry, in the POD space. She knows what she's uh, doing and... Uh, her students being our top sellers is uh, just a proof of that. So thank you, Luna. Thank you, everybody. Uh, that's a student. No, but Luna. literally, Alex, when you told me that the other day, because obviously Alex and I had a little chat before setting this up, I like fell off my share because everybody's mm -hmm. so quiet, turning away. And I was like, what do you mean? Oh, I didn't even know. I was like, oh, oh my God. So I went on my Slack channel, which, uh, cause we have a Slack channel for the coaching group. And I was like, you guys are like the best sellers for Outprint. Like, oh my yeah. God, I'm so excited. That's a fact. Yeah. So when you told me that, I was like, holy, I'm so like excited. Like I'm, I'm way too humble. So that made me so excited. That made my day. <laughs> I'm glad if you, if you are one of our um, top sellers and you don't see your photo here, don't worry. We still love you. Uh, we know who you are. Just saying. Yeah. All so, right. Yeah. And so, and just, I wanted to share some of like results, but keep it anonymous because you guys tend to go crazy on people when they post on Facebook. But those are some of the results that we've had from students who are inside the coaching group. So just to get some insights, like it's totally doable guys. Like there's people every day without having any digital marketing skills, without having any design skills, we're making this happen. The key is really being consistent, really. And also believing it's possible is a really big thing, which is why it's important to be part of a community. And you guys are doing that by being part of the Facebook group and not giving up. You can't give up. Like Mindset is so important, guys. And for me, it really changed once I did more networking and surrounded myself with people who work successful in the space. Because, of course, when you're on your own, you're like, oh, the system is rigged against me. And you're like, I'm not doing this right. I don't. But again, like and I say this a lot, you don't know what you don't know. Right. So it's, that's why it's so important to, to surround yourself with like minded folks who are making it happen because it really changes your mindset and it really changes your perspective. So I'm done with my spiel. It's awesome. all you, Alex. I just want to yeah. motivate everybody. Oh, that's perfect. And it makes sense. But believing is the first thing. And 
after you believe and you know it's possible, you just got to be consistent with work. We've seen the results of consistency. We see that with your students and with our clients. So yeah, it, it's like everything else in life, right? If you want to have success, if you want to succeed in something, you got to be consistent, whatever it is, a sport, a career, a, a six pack, a parent. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> everything. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, guys. Uh, is is this distracting here? No. No, oh, no, you're good. All right, all right, perfect. Uh, I'm gonna talk a bit about on print and what we do. We are a print on demand jewelry supplier. We provide you guys with unique print on demand jewelry products. We fulfill your orders within two to four business days. We ship them within three to six business days. To be more precise, uh, within the United States, we ship your orders within three to six business days. And within Europe, we ship your orders within one to six business days, depending on the country. And we do offer some exciting branding options, which I hope that you guys will love. Uh, the products that we offer are print-on-demand necklaces. We offer different types of shapes of necklaces, such as coin necklaces, tag necklaces, 3D bar necklaces, and other types of uh, bars, such as horizontal bar, vertical bar. And um, here I'm also teasing a new product launch, uh, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. Because uh, as I said, I do in, in my agenda slide, I do have a little surprise for everybody that's in this call. Um, besides necklaces, we also provide print-on-demand bracelets, chain coin bracelets, bangle bracelets, bar bracelets and yes these are mostly ladies products because uh, we know that uh, ladies are the big spenders on etsy um we will work our way into adding some more manly bracelets but for now that's where our focus is we offer print on demand keychains coin keychains and 3d bar keychains now it's important to mention that all of our products uh, the necklaces, the bracelets, and the keychains come in three color variants, uh, the silver color, yellow gold, and rose gold. And also just FYI, because somebody just asked, um, our print is based out of the Netherlands. That's but right. But they do an amazing job. So first off, it opens up the complete European market, yep. which is amazing. And they also do a great job as far as shipping to the U.S. Yep. Most of our uh, customers and their customers are US based. So uh, our focus is primarily US, but we do a good job in Europe as well because this is where we're located. So the process the process is smooth for both the US and Europe. Uh, and Luna, if anything uh, else comes up in the chat, I don't have the chat in front of me right now. So if anything comes up, please do intervene. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. All right, uh, you can choose to sell your own design. So in your research, maybe you find some cool and interesting niches, which I know that some of you do. Uh, you can choose to place them on all of our necklace shapes and most of our jewelry, or you can choose to sell our existing designs. Our um, marketing team has uh, pre-created some niches, some designs for you guys. Everything is tested. Everything is proven to work. However, I uh, want to mention that we, what we see trending up lately are the sell your own design products because it seems that uh, some of you guys are doing an exceptional job at research and in finding untapped niches. Uh, and you can come up with some really exciting designs that can sell really well. Right. I hope that makes sense. Branding options. We currently offer two branding options. Uh, you can choose to customize the message card for all of your products. This is an addition to the personalizable jewelry. Um, I'm sure all of you are familiar with personalized cards already and the impact that it has on the conversion rate, on um, increasing the perceived value of the product, the uh, unboxing experience. And in addition to the message cards, you can also choose to personalize your gift box uh, with your own logo. Um, I feel like this is a really, really cool option um, that can take your brand to the next level. And um, obviously, it's going to help with the unboxing experience. Uh, your brand is not going to be as easily to be replicated because you got your own logo on the box. 
And yeah, it's, overall, it's uh, pretty cool. Like the customer would never know that uh, your products are made by somebody else. They, they don't know either way, but uh, yeah. Um, th in this photo, the logo seems to be yellow. It is not yellow. It's a metallic golden foil. So it looks much better in real life. By default, if you choose not to personalize the boxes, they come in a black box, unbranded, just like this. But if you want to customize it, uh, this is an example of uh, what it will look like. And that's a brand new feature, right? That you just added? We do have it for a while, but we didn't broadcast it to all of the users yet. We, we were still testing out to make sure that we can um, stock up on all the boxes and that we can come through on our promises. But um, yeah, now we're announcing it. So it is available for everyone at the moment. And somebody's asking, what's the cost of the brand boxes, branded boxes? Uh, the cost of the brand boxes, it, it starts at uh, 1.3 euro per box. Uh, this requires a minimum order quantity of the boxes of 96, 96 pieces. So if you want to get your boxes customized, you would need to place an upfront order just for the boxes, not for the products. Um, just so it makes sense why. Basically, the personalization of the boxes does take some time. A metal stamp needs to be created with your logo. Um, this takes a couple of days. So we need to be ready for the moment when you guys start receiving orders. We can't, uh, that's why we do suggest a minimum order quantity of 96 boxes. Because this will be guaranteed that, hey, we stocked up of your boxes. Whenever you got orders, we can ship them in your boxes. Does that make sense? Yeah. Perfect. All right. Now, I'm going to talk a bit about how to set up OnPrint. OnPrint, uh, by default, has a direct integration with Shopify. We have a Shopify app. You can find us on Shopify, or you can search uh, on Google for OnPrint Shopify app. However, I know that uh, most of you guys are Etsy sellers, and our jewelry sells like hotcake on Etsy. So there are currently two ways to sell home print products on Etsy. Win number one is uh, an automatic connection via Shopify and said commerce. I'll get it to the step-by-step -step minute. Um, I think most of the successful people use this method, but we also have a manual connection, which allows you to manually list products on home print products on your Etsy shop, and then you can manually process each order. Uh, the automatic connection is pretty straight to the point. Um, first, you need the Shopify store and you need to install our Shopify app. Again, you can search for our app on the Shopify store or on Google, or you can reach out to us and we'll send you a link. Um, as soon as our app is installed, you have to push products from home print to your Shopify store. And then you have to push products from your Shopify store to Etsy using the said commerce app. Basically, what said commerce does in the this scenario, they just help you push, they just help you connect Shopify with Etsy. And as soon as you get an order on Etsy containing an on print product, said commerce will sync it back to Shopify. And from Shopify, uh, it will automatically sync back to on print. Um, it's a pretty smooth process. We definitely recommend this uh, option because uh, by using the automatic connection, you guys would have more time to focus on growth activities, such as finding winning products, uh, more winning designs, or more winning niches. However, if for whatever reason, you guys don't feel like using the automatic connection, or you can't, but I'm pretty sure all of you can, you can feel free to use the manual connection. And um, to manually sell on print products on Etsy, you simply have to go to your Etsy shop and list each product manually from Etsy. And once you get an order, you can process it through our sample shop. Now, it's not that we don't recommend this method, but how we feel about it is that you guys as business owners, as the main person in the business, you should be focusing on activities that grow the business, that move the needle in your business, that get you more money. And by sacrificing the time to basically by doing everything manually, you're sacrificing uh, valuable time that you could use to move the needle and to make more money eventually. And the other so, thing I want to mention as well, so obviously like that, it does require you having a Shopify plus CEG yeah. commerce, et cetera. But mm -hmm. the other thing is like, once you find a winner on Etsy, right? 
then it allows yeah. you to scale it with yeah, Facebook exactly. ads to your Shopify store to TikTok. Because I mean, yep. Etsy is definitely a great medium. And the reason I teach Etsy is because it's very beginner friendly because I've done yeah. it all. I've, I, I mean, I do Amazon, I do Walmart, and I've done Shopify, right? Mm -hmm. So the beauty of Etsy is that every time you upload a listing, it's 20 cents, right? Yeah, that's Versus crazy. with Shopify, you always have to buy traffic or spend hours on social media to bring traffic. Totally. And Etsy is an organic platform, right? So I don't want you to spend any ads on Etsy until you get a sale. That, like, that's the beauty of Etsy, right? So you have to essentially, and I know some of you have like, are in like, you know, tight financial situation. I totally get it. Right. And I understand why you would want to do it manually. Right. Mm -hmm. But, you know, knowing that if you're really serious about this, like doing the investment of doing Shopify, plus, by the way, you know what, actually I have a, I have a link for Shopify where it's like a dollar for like the first three months. I'm going to look for it and I'll send it to you guys. But Shopify plus CED commerce Essentially, once you start getting orders, you don't have to worry about like doing all the sync manually. So, and 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 another thing I want to mention, by the way, uh, and again, I don't like I know um, I'll print personally because I'm I'm selling I'll print right. But another thing I want to mention is the fact that because it's so hard to set up, there's actually less competition on Etsy, guys. So because it's a pain in the butt to set up. It's okay. actually to, to your advantage. So that, I mean, and that's the thing, like a lot of time, like you want to go the easy route, but actually putting the extra step is actually what will help you like get more sales. But anyway, so I'm going to share the link and I'm going to, I'm going to be quiet. <laughs> awesome. And no, on, on that note, I started as a um, Shopify dropshipper when I started seven years ago, my e-commerce journey. And I used to pay for every click to my website i used to pay for that right when i saw you guys doing such an amazing job and not having to pay for those purchases up front because etsy is an organic marketplace it was just mind-blowing so etsy guys is such an amazing opportunity uh, a really really cool opportunity but on this note as well uh, i feel like the main reason why people would go for the manual connection is the financial region, uh, reason, which does make complete sense. However, I like to see it as a business expense because that's what it is after all, right? Uh, it's just a business investment. It's a business expense that eventually is going to pay me back much more. All right, that was it. I hope this makes sense. Um, in the next slides, I'll talk about how to customize your message cards in just three steps. Um, to customize your message cards, that's uh, I know that's a feature that most of you guys are used to. Uh, you currently have to use an editing software. Uh, this may sound complicated. Trust me, it's not. For beginners, we mostly recommend a software like Photopea, photopea.com. As soon as you become a customer, or as soon as you register with OwnPrint, I'm sorry, um, you'll get access to our mockups, and then you will be able to download our mockups, import them into Photopea with one click. Once you're here, so that's step one. Download our mockups, import them into Photopea. Step two is click this uh, green square right here on my screen. It's not gonna, it's not going to be a green square on your screen, uh, but I'm just uh, pointing it out for you guys. So that's step two. As soon as you double clicked this square right here which is called a smart object uh, this page will open up and here all you have to do is drop in your card size it so it fits this square save it and done your photo will be displayed your, your card will be displayed in the photo mockups basically these three steps show you how to display your message cards in the uh, photo mockups so that your customers know what to expect the, the message card that they should expect and uh, yeah, so it, it's going to help with conversions if you guys can customize your message cards. Yeah, because I mean, I always say this, people buy emotions, right? 100%. They buy emotions. So if you have something that is highly emotional, it's yep. not so much the product anymore. It's the emotion tied to this. So like, 100%. you know, people love their pets. 
So yep. having a photo of their pet on or necklace or giving that to someone is highly emotional. So they don't necessarily look at the necklace as much anymore, you know? So you have to remember right. that people buy emotions. Like even when you buy a Chanel bag, what are you really buying, right? You're buying yep. the emotion of having a Chanel bag or whatever it is. So mm -hmm. just remember that. Yeah. I guess to give you guys a, a better example, let's say I'm, I'm selling this uh, pet portrait necklace in the memorial niche. So I'm selling this necklace to people that just lost their pet. If I can come up with a message that speaks here directly to the person that lost their pet, that comforts them, that, you know, you would find those uh, what works best in your research. But if you can come up with a message that speaks to your audience, that's what sells. It's, it's the, essentially, it's what Luna said is the emotion that, that sells. All right. Okay, so uh, we're already all through the slides. That was so fast. yeah. That was quick. Did I go too fast? Like... No, but I, we're gonna we're gonna have a lot of questions, so it's fine. Perfect. So Perfect. Perfect. I'm gonna open up and win, uh, give you guys the opportunity to win a scholarship inside my copy, copy me coaching program. And so if we go to the next slide. So in order to do that, you have two options. I know a lot of you already are getting sales just by watching my free content or being inside my mini course. So if you could upload a, screen, a screenshot of your all-time sales or the sales that you've had since applying my method and upload it to the Facebook group and then explain how my content has helped get you more sales, you can also do that by DMing me on Instagram. On Instagram, it's simply at Miss Luna Vega. And so go ahead for option two. I know a lot of you as well haven't had. Oh, next slide. <laughs> Sorry. I also okay. know a lot of you haven't had sales yet. So if you could upload a photo of you with your Etsy dashboard, explaining some of the questions you have or the kind of help that you need inside my Facebook group. And um, I'm going to pick a winner by Friday. So you have now till Friday to do this. Um, so here's a link to the Facebook group if you're not a member yet. So again, you know, upload a screenshot of your results since you've been applying my method or anything that, you know, whether it's from my uh, mini course or whether it's from watching my free content. So upload your screenshots with uh, the results. Or if you haven't had any cells, you know, just show me a screenshot of you or a photo and let me know how I can help you. And then, yeah, the winner will be announced on Friday. And Alex also has a little additional surprise for this winner. <laughs> do I do? I do. Actually, this surprise. Oh, right. Uh, the surprise we have for this winner is 10 free products from Omprint. We're going to pay for them. This is just an encouraging bonus for you guys to get started. Um, yeah, we're just going to pay for 10 of your first orders. So uh, whenever you have the winner, Luna, let me know and uh, I'll arrange uh, the other side. And then the other thing is, because there's some of my students in here. So yeah. Alex is actually going to give you guys some goodies. I think it's in that yeah, slide, course. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so in yeah, all of my students inside the coaching program, you guys are going to have uh, special access. <laughs> Yes, yes. Usually, again, just because we're so at Omprint, we're really, really thankful for everything that you do, Luna, everything that your customers achieve. Uh, we also want to encourage you guys further to keep being consistent um, and keep putting in the, the great work. So whenever we have a new app update or a new app feature that's launching a new product, uh, you guys will be the first to know about it. Uh, so in the next slide, I want to tease a little bit the next product launch. I talked about it in my first slide. Um, this is a new necklace shape, which I'm personally, I'm very excited about because uh, we've been working behind the scenes for a while now to make it happen. Um, and yeah, this is uh, going to help you guys diversify your listings even more. Um, right now, there's nobody selling them. Um, and the fact that you guys get access first to it considering Etsy, it's a SEO platform. And considering Etsy is a SEO platform, time is such a competitive advantage. So if you can get this um, ahead of everyone else, which you will do, I, I guess it's a really cool competitive advantage. Um, also, if you already have some winning designs, some winning products, and I know some of you do, 
you can easily double down on all of your winning designs just by placing them on a new shape. Um, and that's it. Yeah, no. And he, so there's a couple things because I see some of you essentially uh, asking about samples. So uh, you might have the mindset of drop shipping, right? So, and, and I'm, I understand where you're coming from because when you are drop shipping with AliExpress or Alibaba, you absolutely need samples. That's the beauty of print on demand. I don't recommend you get samples until you have a best winner. And I'm going to explain why. With print on demand, like these are established companies that are set up in Europe and the US. Their reputation is everything. You're not dealing with China. Okay. China is a very different uh, business landscape, right? So, with that said, if anything goes wrong, like Alex's business, can like I mean he can go out of business right Alex <laughs> yeah, so it's in his best interest to have good products to have, uh, ship it fast and to do everything in his power to make sure that you guys have everything to be set up for success okay yeah. so the reason a sample in print on demand does not make sense is because you're essentially wasting money that you could be using for something else. I recommend that you focus your time uploading listings and uploading ideas. And once you actually start getting that sell or a few sales, then you can definitely open, you have a um, like order that sample because you'll want to have maybe different photography or do videos. If you decide to do Facebook ads or TikTok ads, whatever it is, like that's when you add, you ask for a sample. And that's when you essentially like take special content to scale it. So I really want to make that clear because I know a few people like always ask for samples, but like you really, I mean, I hate to say this, you, you are complicating the process and I get it. You're going in with like a mindset of like drop shipping, but this is not drop shipping. This is why I used to drop ship and I stopped drop shipping and did print on demand exactly for that reason, because I wanted to take out the stress of suppliers and really focus on what I'm good at, which is marketing. That's a really good point. I personally stopped uh, drop shipping just because I wanted something for the long term. I was really tired of having to drop ship pro products from China. Maybe the first month was great and it worked amazing. But then after the first month, bad feed feedback started to hit my account. My Facebook advertising account got taken down. So I just wanted to work on something for the long term, work on a project where I can return and, and continue what I started, you know, next month as well and next month and next month and see it grow. Uh, so here we are today. That Again, really, really good point, uh, Luna. Yeah. So, I mean, essentially what I recommend you do when you're starting out, you know, is essentially like set up outprint. So the beauty of outprint is that it's very Etsy friendly from a jewelry standpoint. That's yeah. why when they contacted me, I think it was like a year ago, yeah. uh, I jumped on it because, because because I knew it was like it was um, very Etsy friendly. And also you can customize these coins with whatever trending design. So that's a strength in itself, right? Because yep. it's like it laser in. Exactly. So I would say, you know, before you order anything, like create your own customized listing using Photopia, right? Whether it's the message card or whether it's adding your own design and then upload it to Etsy and start getting data because that's the beauty of Etsy. Essentially with Etsy, you're getting data for free, which if you were doing Shopify, every time you upload something, you would have to drive traffic. And how do you do that? Well, by spending $5 on Facebook ads every day. And I know because I used, that's how I started Shine On. And that's when I decided to, to switch to Etsy. Uh, can Alex explain the best way to design his products? I have issue designing. I'm good with the message card, but not the item. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So essentially, when you, so uh, what Alex is asking is like, let's say we, we want to add like a, a design in the coin. What's the best way to do that, Alex? I'm, I'm just going to mention this because you said you're good with the card design. So if you, if you already know how to set up your cards, setting up a design on the coin, it's very simple. It's the same process. You just got to click another file. Um, I'd be happy to share video instructions. We do have video instructions that tell you step-by-step, step, like once you have the design, how to place it on the mock-up to display 
um, your design on the coin. Uh, but I'm just going to go back to my three slides right here that show the process of adding a card. Um, let's just say this coin is blank. Um, essentially, what you have to do instead of clicking Instead of clicking these uh, smart objects right here, you, you see there's a do not edit uh, field. Well, in the mockups for editing the coins, you will be able to edit this. So essentially what you have to do is just double click that smart object from this um, layer right here. And you just drop here your design save it and then your design will show up in uh, on the coin but again if you reach out to us or our, to our support team i'd be happy to share a step-by-step -step video on how to get it done yeah and i'll share the video as well inside the facebook group so you guys have access to it and i'll send an email out as well um okay so just to recap essentially because i know some of you came in late a couple things and we're going to open this the floor to q a since we have quite a bit of time left is if you join late, just FYI, you guys, I'm providing with everyone inside here a scholarship to my Copy Me coaching program. All you have to do is send a screenshot of the sales you've had so far by applying the content from my fast track course or the content from watching my free content, post it on the Facebook group. And then, um, or if you haven't had any sales, you know, just Take a photo of you or your dashboard and let me know what you need help with. And then I'm going to pick a random winner on Friday. And then Alex as well is throwing in 10 free all print listing to the winner. And my coaching students, because some of you are watching, not to worry. We got you no hooked worries. up as well. <laughs> of course, always. I'm not trying to make any anyone jealous. Don't worry. We got we got you hooked up. Okay, so I'm gonna open up the floor with questions. The best way I would say is for you to unmute yourself and ask your questions, um, and then I'll also keep a tab on uh, the chat. But don't be shy. Open up your mic and ask us whatever questions you have. Hi, I have a question. Yeah. Hi, I'm from New York City. Um, my question is, um, I'm a beginner. Honestly, I just found out about you this week. Really? Um, so yeah, so I'm really excited about this. I just followed you a couple of days ago and I'm very interested and I'm a little overwhelmed because it's a lot of information and I'm just trying to, you know, gather myself here. Um, my dream has always been to create like a journal type thing um, and to sell it on Etsy. Um, like a calendar journal type of thing. But what you guys are showing me today, this is something I think that would be really great for me to also do that I could also incorporate in my store because you always talk about having many different items in your Etsy. It doesn't have to be one particular thing. So um, is I don't know how to start. And I, I got kicked out of this a, a couple of times because I lost reception. Um, but what's the best way? Like what are the like the first three steps of what to do to like really get started. By the way, what's your name? Cause I didn't catch it. My name. Well, my name is Phoenix, but all my friends call me Nova. I don't know what. Nova. What I'm... Okay. Yeah. No. Um, fine. So, okay. No. Cause I, I, I just want to answer your question, Nova. So first off, welcome. Super excited to have you here. I'm also a fellow New Yorker. So, Hey, what's up? Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Absolutely. You bring such a relevant point because that's the one thing that really uh, gets gets me so annoyed with a lot of the Etsy content that's out there. It's this fake notion that you need to create a brand from the get go. And every time I see that, it makes me want to throw up. And I'm going to explain to you guys why. When you are on Etsy, you are in a marketplace. And I, like you said, you can totally sell jewelry. You can totally sell journals. You can sell as many items as you want. It doesn't, your store doesn't need to be cohesive because people don't go on your Etsy store. Like the experience on Etsy is I look for a keyword and I go on the listing and I make my decision when I am on the listing. I, very few people are actually going to go on your store and look around. They're only going to do that if they're like, oh, this is not quite what I want. I'm looking for something else. So that's the first thing. That's the other beauty of Etsy. Because as a beginner, you're trying to figure out what's going to work for you. And we're all very different. We all come from different backgrounds. So different things are going to work for some of us. So absolutely, you do both. I highly recommend it, right? 
So when it comes to Alprint, Alprint is a little bit more complicated to set up. Uh, but like I said earlier, because it is like there's less competition. Yep. So I it's will share important. like I will share like the videos with you guys um, on how on how to set this up. Like everybody who's in who signed up for this, you guys will um, have all the videos with the tutorial. But I would say, Nova, I don't know if you already have an Etsy store or not. I don't have I don't have anything. I okay. just found out about this this week. So I but I'm down for this. I'm, I'm I really want to do it. So I'm committed. I just want to nice. make sure that I'm that I'm doing it correctly. You know. Yeah. So the good thing about Etsy is like, all you have to do is like, you can literally set up your shop after this, right? Mm -hmm. Make sure that your banking information matches with, um, with your address or whatever, like, and then you can literally like set it up in just like an hour because you don't need to have a fancy banner. You don't need to have a fancy logo. It can really be bare minimum when you're starting out. So I'll send you a video because I have a tutorial on my YouTube on uh, how to get started. And then, um, yeah, keep me posted on your progress. I'm excited to have you here. So so basically what I'm going to do now, I'm going to open up my store, like do like the like the paperwork, right? Make sure everything's like connected, my bank, stuff like that. Um, yeah. And then and then just follow your tutorial on how to create these things. Yep, exactly. Okay. And and can um what's the best way to stay in contact with you? Is it through the Facebook group? Yeah, ask your questions in the Facebook group. It's easier to manage. Okay, can you just post? Because I got kicked out, so I, I didn't get to see the link. Can you just post the link? Yeah, yeah, so I'll I send it again. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, we have a question from Natalie. I'm trying to unmute here. Oh. Hi. Hey, Natalie. It won't let me unmute. No, you're you good. Hear we hear you. We hear you. Oh, you hear me now. Okay, it was frozen. Hey, I'm so glad um, for this platform and for all your advice and help, Luna and Alex. Uh, I guess my question is I'm also very new and trying to just read and understand how these things work. Um, I guess I'm not too clear if buying into from an international company is that if there's something different when I have to like do taxes or stuff like that, like how does that work? Do I need a reseller certificate? Like all those little details. Um, yeah, just not too clear about that. Do you want to answer, Alex, or do you want me to answer? It, I didn't really hear the question. I, I only oh, heard she was she was asking. Part. Yeah, she was asking about like the admin part of it. So no, you don't need a you don't need a, a reseller license. Uh, I mean, that's the other beauty of Etsy. You can literally you don't need a business. Like Etsy originally was made to sell handmade, right? But handmade also qualifies as like print on demand. So there's everybody right. sells print on demand on Etsy. So you don't need to have a business. You literally can just start setting up your Etsy store. And when it comes to taxes, essentially like every time, like you can set it up on your credit card. Maybe you can have a credit card that you open specifically for your business. And it could be like your personal account as you're starting out, right? And I always tell people, don't worry about taxes until you start having like 5K months consistently, yes. right? Yep. Like at that point, then you start creating an LLC because when you're in the US having an LLC like helps you as far as like deduction, but you don't have to worry about it. You know, like you guys totally are overthinking it. Like get to that point of having 5K months consistently and then you can like figure out taxes. But regardless, a lot of these things as a personal account, you can deduct because they're business expenses. So make sure that you track all the base cost, right? And Etsy calculates all the taxes for you. So you just like, yeah, I hope that helped answer your question. Alex, um, can you share the slide with the Facebook group? Because I, for whatever okay. reason, I can't chat people. Yeah, here. Okay, sorry. Next question. Who else has a question? Hi, hello. Hi. Anna. Hi, here. Hey. Uh, okay, so I've just started out my Etsy account, and I have saw in one of your videos that 
we have to set up the legal information. And I have some problems because I don't know about that German lucid ID number or that French thing. It's like when I open my settings on Etsy, they show me there that I have to put a German lucid number and something from French. France. Are I you don't... where are you based in Germany? No. Where are you based out of? Uh, Romania. Oh, well, just don't sell to France and Germany. It's not easy. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, also... I mean, first of all, yeah, I mean, French market, I mean, I've had a few sales, but very little. And German market, they do, but focus on the US market when you're starting out and, and Europe. But just stick out France and Germany. Yeah, France and Germany has a lot of regulations. So easy. Okay. And one more question. Mm -hmm. In Europe is a law uh, that says I have to give 14 days refund policy. But because it's made print on demand, I think I don't have to. Right, 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 right. So, right. So in the U, this is what I do. So... I usually only have my listing in the US when starting out. And then if it's doing well, then I open it up to Europe. And oh, yeah, okay. in Europe, you do have 14 day policy, but you can still have it really clear in your shop that because this item is customized and made to order, um, okay. we don't accept returns. And then yep. you just deal with it on a case per case. But very rarely, I mean, unless the, there's an issue with the item, which happens, then Alex always sends replacements. He's super cool about that. Yep. He's one of the few POD companies who actually like is super cool about that. But refunds and returns don't happen that often, guys. Like, I, yeah. I think it's because you're thinking Amazon, you know, but it really mm, doesn't happen. No, I was, often. I'm sorry to interrupt. I was thinking of a particular case. And if that happens, I should know about what to do you know? all you have to do is essentially talk to the customer ex understand what the issue is and half of the time they'll be happy with you just sending a replacement mm -hmm. yep. okay. that's thank it so just say yes and yeah mm -hmm. thank you as long as the customer sees that you're trying to solve the situation which yeah. uh, i guess you're trying to do there should be no issues yeah yes thank uh, you very much yeah, of course, Anna. Super happy to have you here. Any other questions? I have a question. Yeah, hi, Diana. Hi. Um, so I have two questions. Um, my first question is, I have been applying the tips that you give in your free content, mm -hmm. which is really good. And I did notice that my views went up, which is great. So, <laughs> but I think I, I haven't had any sales yet. And I know that I'm I'm missing probably something. I'm not doing it right. I don't know if it's just I don't have enough listings. But I am, there are days that I'll have like 50 views, which is good for me because my store hasn't been open that long as far as the selling the jewelry. But then there are, there are days that I'll have like five views. And I'm like, okay, I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm not sure. Like I'm trying to niche it down to some products. Um, but I'm I'm just at a loss because I haven't had any sales and I've been trying to work on this like every day. If you're not getting sales, just keep uploading. Uploading. Okay. Just I don't continue have uploading. Mm -hmm. So I would say views on Etsy are sporadic. They definitely mm -hmm. are. You might have a day where you have really strong views and another day where you don't. Mm -hmm. um, because the way the Etsy algorithm works is essentially when you post a listing, you get that like surge, right? Yes. Because Etsy's trying to get data rather fast as to whether or not your listing has potential. And the let the more days your listing is um up there, right, and not getting views or sales, like the more it gets deranked. But mm -hmm. you know, it can also happen. It, there's a lot of fluctuating factors. There is competition. There is keywords you're ranking for. Um, also people liking or not liking your listing, right? And usually if you're not getting a sell, it's because your listing needs work. It's really that easy, guys. Like it's not having the perfect SEO. I, I can show you plenty of listings. You have the worst SEO and get sales. So really focus on uploading. If something is getting traction, but it's not getting sales yet, is that you have to tweak it. Usually that's the answer. Okay. 
Um, and then my next question was on the shipping. Um, right now, of course, like I, I concentrate mainly on the US, but sometimes I want to open up into the European market, but I don't really know how to set the shipping in my Etsy my Etsy um, profile. Like, I don't know how to do that, or I'm not sure if I should just hold off and just wait till I get sales in the US market and then go to like the European market. Um, so under Etsy, there's a setting and then under that it says like shipping profile and you just like set it up based on where the item is. So I have different shipping settings depending on the print on demand supplier. So that's how you have to set it up. And every time you upload a new listing, you just have to make sure that it's linked with that shipping setting. So under listing, you'll see that each product is linked to a different shipping setting. Uh, Alex, do you have instruction for your shipping setting or no? Um, for Shopify or for Etsy? For Etsy. Uh, no, not exactly, but uh, some of these questions do come up in our support and we always uh, help out. Uh, it depends on the integration process. If you set it up through set commerce, you do have to specify the processing time and uh, the shipping time post-processing. Um, yeah, so usually not... with Outprint, because it is customized, like the actual coin, I'll do five to seven days processing, and then shipping, I'll do like another five day. Usually, the... I like, like is pretty good about shipping it like before the five, seven days, depending on the season. But uh, it just gives you, because the thing is, you want to make sure that within Etsy, right, you give yourself plenty of time. Because that's the other thing, by the way, guys, like, you want to make sure that you are shipping things in time, because otherwise, like, your ranking kind of goes down. And having being a star seller doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter, unlike what you've been told. But it's just, I mean, it's just that little extra boost that helps. Like, you need to make sure you're always shipping in time. I think so, it was... I'm so sorry. It was just, I, I was confused about the VAT and that was my last question. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, About the VAT. Yeah, um, like, the, like when you know how they have like the VAT taxes in Europe, that's why I was oh, so confused. Right, 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 right. Oh, uh, Diana, that's, you shouldn't have to worry about that. You don't even need to collect it. Um, at the moment, we are based in Europe, but we mostly ship to the U.S. And because at some point in the near future, we're planning to ship from the U.S., the custom VAT taxes won't be available anymore. Uh, taking this into consideration right now, own print, we take care of all the VAT collection, all the um, custom duties that uh, normally you would have to, to take care of. So you don't have to worry about anything VAT related, customs related, if you ship from Europe to the United States or if you, uh, or vice versa. Okay. We, we at Ombren, we take care of, uh, of this entirely. Thank you. Sharon, you have a question? Hello? Uh, can I put a question? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, hi. sorry, uh, sorry. Wait, hold on, Ken. Sharon sorry, first. Sorry. I, <laughs> I know you're good. I <laughs> hi, Luna, I apologize. Hey, I no, you're good. Hey, how you doing? Okay, so I was wondering if you're doing store reviews at this time? Yeah, I can. Um, okay. We can do one at the end. Okay, so Ken, okay. go ahead. Uh, thank you. Uh, I have a question that uh, I have a product about uh, monthly sales 50. Mm -hmm. And I want to boost that product. It's a bestseller, but I want to increase the sales. What must I uh, do about TikTok ads or Facebook ads? What you prefer for me? I mean, it's really up to you. So the first step would be to do Etsy ads and make sure that you are in the green, right? That you mm -hmm. have profitable yes. ads. And yes. then if you also want, absolutely, you should try Facebook and uh, TikTok ads. So I don't know your setup, if you have a Shopify store or not, mm -hmm. but I would recommend if you, if you are going to drive traffic from Facebook and TikTok with ads, I recommend yeah. you have a Shopify store. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I will share the link uh, from your group, Facebook group. Okay, thank you. Thank you. 
Amazing. All right. Well, I'm going to let Alex go because he's got lots on his plate. <laughs> he's going to ship her orders out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, and yeah, this I mean, fun, really. yeah, this was a lot of fun. A lot of you guys showed up. So this is I'm super humbled and excited. Keep me ex uh, keep me updated on your progress. And again, you know, if you're interested in the scholarship for the coaching group, make sure to post where you are in your journey inside my Facebook group. And then the other last thing I'm going to leave you with is, yeah, make sure to add all print listings to your store and, you know, be consistent, guys. Like summers do tend to slow down because the wedding niche is a great niche, but it can be a little tough to penetrate, especially with jewelry. But there's plenty of other opportunities for summer. But really keep your eye on having your store in a good place for September, because that's where things really start cracking up. And people who are consistent and are posting through the summer and don't give up are the ones who are going to get amazing results for Christmas. Yep. Yeah. And Christmas is where I'm going to get all the messages like, oh, my God, oh, my God. I'm so excited. Yeah. And if so, some of your students are doing so awesome now. I know. I, I know. Imagine how they're going you know to know who you fall. are. Yeah. You some of them are doing are. so well. I'm like, oh my God, Christmas is going to be unreal. I, so I'm excited. excited. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah. Because essentially my goal is to make sure that you all quit your nine to five as somebody who used yeah. to work in New York City make I, I used to make that cushy salary well that cushy salary let me tell you it came with a price i was working so many hours and i was like well you know what if i'm gonna be working that many hours i might as well do it for myself and now i just have the flexibility i mean at first i did have to put in a lot of work on my business and it's like anything you have to put in the hours but once i did you know and once i started having a foundation then I have the flexibility of, you know, being wherever I want in the world, traveling. I'm going to be in summer in um, Europe all this summer and living life in my own terms and just having that freedom for me, it meant everything. So I really want you guys to have the same success and be able to have a life where you have freedom and you can tell your boss. To I don't know if I can put that on YouTube. I might have to like, you may have to. It out. <laughs> Guys, All right, guys. Success, it's our success. If I may add this, Luna. Yeah, please. It's in our best interest for everybody to succeed. Um, yeah. If you guys grow, we grow as a company as well, Omprint. So it's in our best interest for you guys to succeed. We will try our best in all our power to help you guys succeed by providing you great support, great products, new products, more app functionalities. And that's why also your feedback is important. So, um, yeah, whenever you guys have some feedback, please do give us your feedback because uh, if we can help you grow uh, we're going to do it yay all right guys thanks for joining have a gorgeous wednesday wherever you are in the world and we'll see you thanks, soon everybody bye bye thanks everybody <laughs>